Good evening and welcome to Sunday Evening Prayer. I'm following a service of light which you can find in your prayer books on page 434. Jesus is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And the uh, hymn, Hail Gladdening Light, which we'll just say. Hail Gladdening Light of his pure glory poured, who is the immortal Father, heavenly blessed, holiest of holies, Jesus Christ our Lord. Now we are come to the sun's hour of rest. The lights of evening round us shine. We hymn the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit divine. Worthiest art thou at all times to be sung with undefiled tongue. Son of our God, giver of life alone, therefore in all the world thy glories, Lord, they own. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. And the thanks, first of the thanksgivings. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, ruler of the universe. You led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. May his word be a lamp to our feet, our feet and a light to our path. For you are full of loving kindness for your whole creation and we, your creatures, glorify you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. This evening's Bible reading is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 12, beginning at the first verse. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and not all members have the same function. So we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in cheerfulness. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For this evening's reflection, I want to read you just a short piece from uh, Joyce Rupp, from her book Enduring Presence, which reflects on that passage. She writes, Have you ever heard people say, <clears throat> Oh, I am just a... and then, then describe themselves in some way that makes them sound insignificant? Sometimes the comment slips out without their realising it. I've heard things she says like, I'm just a housewife, just a friend, just a lay person, just a senior citizen. The word just implies a limit or defect by comparison. This kind of comment puts oneself down, indirectly saying others' gifts are more valuable and establishes a pattern of diminishing one's own goodness. God has created each of us as a wonderful human being with something special we are meant to share with our world. We may have our own ideas of what we think great gifts are, but in reality, any and all talents are, val are valued in the eyes of God 
only in so far as they are developed and shared with love. Think of the simple yet significant things others have done for you that brought you great joy because they were done with kindness and consideration. If you have an I'm just in, in you, pray to discard it. Recognise and accept the beauty of who you are in God's eyes and do something with love today. And she finishes with, with this brief prayer. Loving God, thank you for who I am and for how I can serve you. I'm going to go into Compline now, page 443. We're going to say the Nunc Dimittis, which is towards the bottom of page 443. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. And this affirmation of faith. We believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist. We believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again. We believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in all the world. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The response in the prayers is, uh, to my um, words, Lord, hear us. Your response, Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray to the Lord who is our refuge and our stronghold. For the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For a blessing on our local community, that our neighbourhoods may be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful God, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>